I need to take You're literally music. saying they're not equal. You're saying the Palestinians they're and the Israelis really are not equal. equal. We have That's to right. violently yeah. oppress them. Jen Kuger and Dennis Prager, right winger Dennis Prager, engaged in a very heated debate on the Young Turks with Jen Kuger and Anna Kasparian. In this, we're, we're going to see just Jen Kuger and Dennis Prager interacting here. It was very heated. We're going to take a look at clips of Jen Kuger and Dennis Prager. I will share my thoughts here from time to time. Let's check. Let's take a look at this together. In Florida, if you don't agree with the Israel far right wing government of Israel, they will actually take contracts away from you. They will they will hurt your livelihood. That is the government regulating speech. I assume you've spoken out against that and you've been vituperative about it, right? To the extent that a person advocates BDS, which is the economic destruction of Israel, and should be allowed to advocate it, I think they should be allowed to advocate it. That's right. So okay. Florida and the way, this is way, dead wrong, hearing, right? That is a violation you know, of free Netanyahu, speech and totally wrong. Netanyahu, Netanyahu is no longer in, in government. Why are you calling it far right? So one point that I would have about this that, I mean, has bothered me personally for a long time is no matter what you think about these countries or what's going on in the Middle East, in the Middle East the idea that Americans could not criticize another country without being labeled as you hate the people of those of that country is just insane to me. Yes, there are people who are anti-Semitic and, and don't like Israel and, and all of that. And that is wrong. But for someone to say, you know, I don't like the government of this country and what they're doing and the war that they're waging, and to have other people say, well, you hate that, you hate the people of that country. No. You can have, you know, you could have friends in Russia and be against Vladimir Putin and the Russian government and what they're doing. I don't think your your friends in Russia would be like, well, you're against Vladimir Putin, so that means you hate me and the people of the country. You know, it's just insane where we basically have person could say, I don't like England's government, and nobody is going to say, well, you hate the English people. So we have this very bizarre thing where, like Jink Uger has brought up to Dennis Prager here, where people literally, you know, there have been instances where somebody is a teacher applying for a job, and in their contract for the teacher to, to be a teacher, it says, you cannot criticize this country. And the people are like, I'm going to be teaching math and English and stuff. What does this have to do with anything? So to me, it's bizarre. You talk about freedom of speech for Americans to not be able to criticize another country without being told they hate the people in that country is just insanity. Yeah, uh, you think that Naftali Bennett got any better or the uh, current person that's in church? They're all right wingers. None of them want uh, Palestinians to be free. They think Palestinians aren't really fully human and can't be trusted to run their own government. They deny them wow. a state. And so, but but let's get back to America. January no, 6th. No, 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 you can't, you can't throw out bombshells and then move on. All right. You, you think that the Israeli government or the average Israeli who voted for this government thinks that the Palestinians are not fully human? Absolutely, then why don't you let that? them go? Why Is can't they have their own state? Because it'll be run by Hamas, are you foolish? Okay, so what, uh, you, so what? the right wing uh, violent government of Israel kills Palestinians all the time. Okay. So you're if saying, you wait, no, no, but okay, you're good, saying good. the Palestinians cannot govern you, themselves. Isn't that okay, what you're saying you as believe. a fact? You believe that there is moral equivalence between Israel and Hamas. That's all I needed to hear. You're hear literally you. saying they're not equal. You're saying the Palestinians they're and the Israelis really are not equal. equal. Correct, we have to violently the oppress them the for the rest of their lives. How long is the occupation going to go? How long are you going to keep millions of Palestinians okay. as prisoners because you think Israeli they're less than human? Okay, Israel doesn't want to commit suicide because you sitting in America have it good, okay? Okay, if so Hamas you're saying won, never, right? You're, oh, you're gonna imprison Palestinians no, no, for the no, rest of time, never. is that correct? When the, Palestinian, when the Palestinians disavow terror and stop trying to destroy Israel and don't announce that they wanna destroy Israel, Dennis, there will be peace. Dennis, 
They have done that in the past. You said not good enough. But the current state of affairs is the absurdity of the Israelis saying, we will not allow you to have a state because you theoretically say that we cannot have a state when we already have one. But no, you're literally no, preventing no, them from being having a state. So since you are preventing them, doesn't that make you a monster who doesn't believe in freedom? And that all of your empty talk about oh, how much you love freedom is total garbage because you don't think it applies to Palestinians. You have a weird way of thinking. Great well, answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why? I like the response from Anna Kasparian to, to Dennis Brager here. Great answer. He says you have a weird way of thinking. The Great Palestinians answer. have the same why freedom that weird? every other human being okay. has. Okay, if you allow me to speak, I'll tell you why it's weird. You believe there is a moral equivalence between Israel and Hamas. That is morally sick. You are sick for not allowing Palestinians, millions of them, to be free. Right. You don't believe in freedom, Dennis. You believe in oppression okay. as long as it's on your suicide. side. Why can't they be free? Why can't Palestinians suicide. be free? Because they will choose a government you don't agree with? That is the definition of oppression. Okay, there you go, okay. The people heard my position, they heard your, yours. Your position is, just to be clear, the Palestinians Hamas, cannot be free. Hamas, they're not, they are not, they are not equipped to handle freedom. Is that your position? At this point, they would elect Hamas. When Israel left, when Israel did what you want and left the uh, uh, left Gaza, it ended up being run okay. by the terror organization would, called Hamas. So they would Is elect someone you don't agree with. And hence, no, no, they are they not allowed like to have freedom. freedom. The, yes, <laughs> what a big advocate of freedom of speech you are, Dennis. Wow, a shining advocate for freedom who says, if you don't elect who I want, you will never be free and you'll be under our thumb and under occupation. You will never have your own country. That's literally what you're saying, Dennis. No, it's not at all what I'm saying. You're saying, saying you like people I don't want, Hamas in this case, saying, you're I'll never allowed to be free. Again. So who do you want them to elect? Dennis Prager as the head of the Palestinian uh, government? Is that what you want? Then you allow them freedom? Would you even do that? You would never allow them. Why can't Palestinians be treated in the same exact way as every other human being? Let me know when I can speak. Have we reached the point that I can speak? Yeah, I will no. say the same thing again. Israel does not want to commit suicide by having Hamas and having Iran and having Hezbollah type people run the West Bank like they run uh, Gaza. That is type it. People. Uh, I, type I people. I have always been for two states. Most Israelis were for two states. There is almost no one left in Israel who agrees with you, including the Israeli left. You live in a make-believe world. They, why are they Hamas the, is, Dennis, why are they, they the type Hamas of people who can't govern themselves? What does that mean? What do you mean that they're the type of people yes, who can't elect, govern themselves? They would elect vicious terrorists to kill Israelis. That's whom they would elect, and Israel why? is not for it. Why would That's they be correct. different than all other human beings? Why? Why would they're they be not different from all other human beings? Iran has that. But too. They, you said Iran that they Iran cannot govern Iran. themselves, and they will elect vicious terrorists. That's right. Unfortunately, because the the worst of them are dominant, just like in Iran, just like Netanyahu most Iranians, and, Iranians, and all the Iranians thousands that he yeah. murdered. I wouldn't pretend to know what the answer is here. Israel has a right to defend themselves. The Palestinians have a right to live. But when Dennis Prager talks about he doesn't trust the Palestinians to govern themselves and they would just elect te terrorists and all of this, Saudi Arabia is, according to our government, one of our greatest allies, the United States' greatest allies. And they're one of the worst dictators they're one of the worst dictatorships in the world. But we view them, at least our government, I mean, I don't personally view them this way. I'm talking about the government, not the people of the country there. The U.S. government views them as one of our greatest allies. And they are a dictatorship and they have funded terrorism. But I, I don't want to put words in Dennis Prager's mouth, but I bet Dennis Prager is supportive of Saudi Arabia in terms of being one of the quote unquote good allies of the United States. And again, to get back to this idea that no one in America can criticize this one country, one country out of all countries. I don't know of any other, you know, if somebody was like, hey, I don't like, uh, you know, Canada's government. I don't like what they're doing there. Nobody's going to be like, you hate Canadians, you know, or I don't like what the country of, Brazil, what their government is doing. Nobody would be like, you can't work for me. You hate Brazilians. You know, I mean, it's, it's just this insane. 
that there's one country that people aren't allowed to criticize. And, I, you know, I'm talking criticize their government, not saying, oh, I don't like the people of that country. You know, I haven't known a ton of Israelis, but any Israelis I've known were wonderful people. I mean, just beautiful, wonderful people. So I have nothing against the people of Israel, but their government, I definitely have criticisms of. And, you know, he's, there's a lot of yelling going on here and everything, but I, this is what Jink Uger is saying here. And, you know, if you watch the Young Turks with Jink Uger and Anna Kasparian for any time, they're not against one country or the other. They are j- just against a right wing government of one country. Dennis Prager doesn't be able to, doesn't seem to be able to see this, that you have to allow a people to govern themselves. But what do you think of it? This was a kind of a short one on this one. What do you think about this interaction and debate between Dennis Prager and Jink Uger? It's definitely a heated subject matter. And as I say, I don't know what the answer is. I would just like to, I think we all would like to see peace there and see an end to what's going on right now. But what do you think about Dennis Prager versus Jink Uger? Make sure to leave your comments for me. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe. Uh, This channel is growing really quickly, closing in on 20,000 subscribers. I was just at 10,000 a few days ago. So I thank you so much for checking out my channel, watching this content, these clips that I share. Make sure to give me a subscribe if you haven't already. This is Chris on Culture. I will see you in the next video.